now audio recorders and players are there that can also be uh, benef uh, uh, used for the benefit of the VI uh, students and uh, all the students can be provided with an audio recorder we know that uh, communication is strengthened when we are having uh, vision uh, when we are having uh, audibility etc right but if uh, one among the senses are affected their communication will be uh, either affected or delayed so in order to uh, help them out we can provide or we can ensure that each visually impaired child is having an audio recorder so that he can record the voice of the teacher or the discussions going on in the classroom and they can listen to this voice later also and now there are if uh, the child is partially impaired now distance vision telescopes are there if uh, the child is partially impaired he can be benefited by using distance vision telescope now uh, if we list many other devices there are portable readers uh, talking dictionary even talking dictionary is a very great tool now talking calculators and you can also see that on our old mobile phones where we had a touch screen or the calculators uh, with the keys uh, uh, where uh, some keys had an embossed uh, thing on the screen the other tools uh, for visually challenged students are portable readers talking dictionary talking calculators braille uh, machine braille shorthand machine and uh, accessible calculator and pocket magnifiers now for the total blind or legally blind children the braille uh, printer is there braille printers uh, connect to computers and allow users to print information in braille via embossing points uh, onto heavy weight papers so they can uh, use braille printers and screen readers are very common screen readers are a form of software that allows individuals with uh, visual disabilities to read the text on a computer screen through a bra braille display or speech synthesis now voice to text and text to speech softwares are also very useful even for us it will be useful now we are moving to the hearing uh, impairment or the children having loss of uh, hearing so there are generally two types of assist assistive technologies used to help deaf students assistive learning devices ALDs and augmentative and alternative communication devices AACs so ALDs and AACs are the two types of assistive technology used to help the deaf students essentially there are amplifiers that bring sound directly into the ear they separate the sounds particularly speech that a person wants to hear from uh, background noise they improve what is known as the speech to noise ratio by using the amplifiers if a child is having the loss of hearing can be benefited when the noise from the background is removed they, it will be helping them to uh, grasp the things to hear the things now what are the types of ALS ALS utilize FM infrared or inductive loop technologies all three technologies are considered good whether it is a FM transmitter infrared transmitter or inductive loop technologies each one has got advantages and disadvantages what are FM uh, systems uh, FM systems are ALS what uh, that use radio broadcasting technology 
they are often used in educational settings and offer mobility and flexibility when used with portable body worn transmitters the transmitters are are worn on body so that it is very useful some newer fm systems util utilizes much, uh, miniaturized receivers that fit uh, onto the hearing aid what are infrared systems the third one infrared systems are als that utilize light based technology they guarantee privacy because light does not pass through walls what are inductive loop systems they are wide area loop system utilize an electromagnetic field to deliver the sound now if we are uh, moving to the basic parts of an als each als has at least three components a microphone a transmission technology and a device for receiving the signal that is a receiver and bringing the sound to the ear so these are the three uh, parts uh, basic parts of any als a microphone a transmission technology and a receiver now if we move to the second one augmentative and alternative communication or aac is is a term that's used to describe various methods of communication that can help people who are unable to use verbal speech to communicate there are two types of system unaided systems and aided systems in uh, unaided systems of augmentative and alternative communication aac uh, do not need anything but the uh, our own body to use an uh, unaided system these include our gestures body language facial expression and sign language now aided systems use uh some sort of tools or device there uh, the ict is used there are two types of aided uh, systems again basic and high tech a pen and a paper is a basic aided system a pen and paper is a basic aided system point uh, pointing to letters words or pictures on a board is a basic aided system and touching letters or pictures on a computer screen that speaks for you is a, a tech aided system if you are having a device where you can touch uh, to uh, to communicate something where some labels will be there on that you can touch so that that will be easily communicated to the next person so some of these speech generating devices or sgds can speak in different languages also the other uh, devices uh, which will be helping the uh, people are pocket go talk pocket go talk they can a uh, device that can talk for the person and mega b writing tablet then symbol communicator now we are moving to the uh, locomotor environment okay the uh, people who are physically challenged they are also uh, benefited by ict so they can make use of computers they can make use of the wheelchairs electronic wheelchairs and even wheelchairs are there connect, uh, where uh, a laptop or computer table can be there uh, wheelchairs with uh, sufficient elect uh, this uh, electricity backup by having the batteries are there so all this can be uh, benefiting for them now online learning possibilities can also be used as i already mentioned in the beginning if the child is unable to uh, reach at the school at least uh, during a period or on a, uh, on some days due to their difficulties 
uh, they can uh, connect with the teachers and their peers through online learning possibilities online the teacher in such cases uh, the teachers can record their classes and make uh, it available for the students having uh, this locomotor uh, difficulties now the games and simulators can also be great tools for the uh, uh, people who are having uh, physically challenges now uh, video conferences pointers see uh, if uh, we are having some uh, activities inside the classroom you no know, we the children involves you no know, children involved in the activities whereas uh, the child having uh, this locomotor difficulties cannot be easily uh, involved so what we can do uh, he can have a pointer uh, having some uh, sensors or lighting on that so that they can also participate in the discussions now battery powered joystick is there then uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, battery powered as i already mentioned battery powered joystick operated wheelchairs are there that will be very uh, comfortable for the uh, uh, this category of children to move uh, in and around now uh, prosthetic limbs are there then child model uh, tricycle are there this can be used inside the classroom it will not give any noise if we are cooperating with them for the cause of learning and social development and fold folding sticks and folding walkers are also there so it's uh, very light and uh, it, it can be even uh, carried from different places to another place okay now uh, in evaluation how ICTs can be used uh, for evaluation of the children especially who are having uh, who are uh, requiring special supports uh, we, uh, for them we can use simple games word association games or activities on computer or mobile phone or tablets then psychotherapy videos animation all these things can be used and if uh, the child is having difficulty to write the exam which we conduct the way we do traditionally we can give uh, we can make it flexible by granting them to take the test or uh, participate in the evaluation process uh, in the way that is convenient for them now ICT powers the inclusive education how ICT as we discussed ICT powers any kind of education and inclusive education too as it is having three years any time anywhere and any device and it is very flexible ICT gives flexibility to education if the child uh, is having uh, some lack of concentration who cannot attend the class continuous classes in the classroom he can be benefited by providing the recorded material or additional uh, uh, material in terms of videos audios etc and on a, on a platform so that he can continue it uh, by take uh, continue uh, to learn by taking his own time now this uh, use of icts in education uh, gives the uh, freedom to repeat the learning process if uh, some slow learners are there they can repeatedly uh, listen to the uh, the discussions or voice of the teacher or even apart uh, the discussions etc and so that finally all these activities will give improved retention thank you